Enterprise Center on December 7th when the Blues take on the Panthers. The first 12,000 fans in attendance will get a Ryan O'Reilly Winter Classic bobblehead courtesy of Pepsi. Grab your seats today at stlouisblues.com slash tickets. Welcome back to Blues Weekly brought to you by Scott Credit Union. I'm Brooke Grimsley. It's a very busy week for the Blues with four games at home. For more on what's next, we go back to our interview with Voice of the Blues for Bally Sports Midwest, John Kelly. Well, we're going to talk about this homestand now because it's a very busy week for you guys. Also, the Blues, John, starting with the Panthers on Tuesday again. What are you seeing from the schedule this coming week as the Blues trying to break their two game losing streak? Well, the Panthers are a very impressive team. They had 51 shots against the St. Louis Blues yesterday. As a matter of fact, going into yesterday's game, the Panthers had had 96 total shots in their previous two games. So basically, in their last three games, Brooke, they have averaged 50 shots on goal a game. That's an amazing number. And then the Red Wings come to town on Thursday. They beat the Blues up in Detroit a few weeks ago, 4-2. to two. The key player for them is the youngster, to me, Lucas Raymond, who's a rookie, scored a great breakaway goal for the Red Wings in that game. He has 10 goals and 22 points. And then you have the Canadians on Saturday, a team that obviously has not played very well. Uh, to me, the big reason why Shea Weber on defense hasn't played at all, probably won't play again. And Carey Price hasn't played a game, of course, their star goaltender. So it's been a tough year for the Canadians, who, by the way, just fired former uh, Blues player and their, their former general manager now, Mark Bergevin. And then the Ducks come to town on Sunday. They might be, to me, the most improved team in the National Hockey League. They have a youngster by the name of Troy Terry, who has 25 points. Obviously, the veteran Ryan Getzlav, a former cup winner, is having a great year with 19 assists. And also another young player, Trevor Zegras, has 19 points. So to me, the Ducks are a good up-and-coming team, maybe a bit of a surprise. They also beat the Blues 4-1 to one about a month ago. So you look all in all, maybe the, the easiest game of the week is the one against the Canadians. But there are no easy games. So, again, it's a busy week for the Blues with four home games. And they need to get some wins. And hopefully they can starting on Tuesday night against the Panthers. Another tough test for the Blues this week. Well, thank you so much for joining us, John. And uh, we'll see you soon. Okay, Brooke, thank you. Thank you for joining us for Blues Weekly. We'll see you next week.